my name's Lyra from MG Chemicals. One of the most important aspects of 3D printing is ensuring that you have a clean, flat bed surface. Now, there's different materials that you can consider to use for a bed surface. However, the most common ones are polyamide and masking tape. So I'm going to show you first how to apply polyamide tape to your print bed. The things that you're going to need are a roll of polyamide tape, a pair of scissors, a straight edge, such as an old credit card, a bottle of soapy water, a bottle of isopropyl alcohol, and lastly, some paper towel. First, we're gonna start off with making sure that we have a nice clean surface to apply our tape to. So I like to use isopropyl alcohol because it's safe on plastics, but still can get up some of the residue and gunk that can be left over on your print bed. Next, we're going to apply a very thin layer of soapy water to the bed. And this basically allows you to move around the tape to get all of the bubbles and get it into the right position before it actually adheres to the bed. Okay, so once you have the soapy water on your bed, you're going to take your polyamide tape and measure out the length that you require. And try and get it straight with your edge. Like I said, we're adding the soapy water so that we can move around and get it in just the right position and before we actually have it adhere to the bed. Then you're gonna take your straight edge and you're gonna push all of the air bubbles to the edge of the tape. Once you've pushed out all the bubbles, Take some dry paper towel and place it near the edge of the tape and that will allow you to soak up any excess water that you're pushing out from under the tape. If you're using more than one piece of tape, what you do next is apply the next piece of tape and try and line it up so that you have no space in between the two pieces of tape. MG Chemicals does offer uh, larger rolls, uh, but sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult to apply for your first time. So once you've pushed out all of the water out from underneath of your material, if your print bed has any uh, void such as maybe places where there's screws puncture the tape in order to allow any water that is collected in there to evaporate Once you smooth out all of your air bubbles and you punctured the holes to allow the water evaporate I highly recommend that you let the bed sit for a minimum of 24 hours before you actually heat it up the reason is is because if there's any excess water that is still remaining under the tape, as soon as you heat it up, it's going to cause bubbles and basically ruin your what was once a flat surface. Once it is dried up and you are ready to print, you can fold over any excess or you can cut it off um, just so that it's not hanging out and can't get caught by the print head. So now I'm going to show you how to apply masking tape. For this, you're going to need your roll of masking tape, scissors, your straight edge, isopropyl alcohol, again for cleaning, and some paper towel. So first you're going to clean your bed. Next, you're gonna take a length of masking tape to cover your bed. So once you have your length of tape, I suggest trying to line up the edge of your tape here to the back edge of your print bed. And then slowly roll your tape forward to minimize getting any wrinkles or bubbles in it. If you get a few wrinkles in it, it's not a huge deal because you're going to be using your straight edge to smooth it out. Once you have it completely straight, you can cut off any excess or you can fold the tape over the edge of the bed. And that's it.